here. Good morning, Brazos County Commissioner's Court. We'll meet in regular session on this August 9th, 2022 at 10 a.m. in the Commissioner's Courtroom of the County Administration Building, 200 South Texas Avenue, Suite 106. Uh, public may watch this on Facebook Live. Uh, if you, uh, well, it's, item number one is Invocation Pledge of Allegiance and Commissioner Cawley will lead us. Please bow with me. And this morning, I invite each of us to take in a breath of love and peace. One deep breath. Breathe in. Father God, this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. In remembering those that have touched our lives, Lord, we give you thanks for all of the people that have contributed <coughs> good things in our lives. Father, we thank you for every member of this Brazos County family. We ask that you forgive our sins. And Lord, fill us with your love that we too might make a difference in somebody's life every day. As we attempt to take care of the business of the county, Lord, be with us. Give us your wisdom and your courage to make the tough decisions and to stand by those. And wherever our judges today, Lord, be with him, protect him, and bring him back to us, even if he's on vacation. Now, Lord, we thank you for all your good gifts. We thank you for all your blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to, to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank um, you. We will now take action, consider and take action on agenda items three through 17. Number three, Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to call for citizens' input and concerns. Um, Christy Rowe. Good morning. Uh, I'm Christine Rowe. I'm the Brazos County Tax Assessor Collector. I just wanted to bring to everyone's attention the notification that should have hit your mailbox yesterday by postcard. Uh, this is the notification of the Truth and Taxation website, which provides for each property owner ongoing information about the process, all of the information that we've been doing to prepare the rates for all the taxing jurisdictions, the uh, calculations, any notices of hearings, and individual information on your property as the process moves forward. So it's not a scam. Which a lot of people seem to think it is. <laughs> it is not a scam. Uh, it is information, and I would encourage anyone with property, or if you know someone who has property and you're just interested in the process, please take uh, advantage. The There are two different websites on it. One on the front will get you a process to get you to the second one, which is a little easier than typing in that website. But this did go to every property owner in the county. Thank you. Uh, Jason? <coughs> Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, Jason Ware, Deputy EMC for Brazos County. Um, our drought index is still really high right now. We're at 790 on the high side, 748 on the low side, and we're averaging about 740, 46 or so on the uh, on the average. Um, the past seven days, um, fire departments across Texas have d responded to 204 fires for a total of 13,665 acres. Five of those fires in the last seven days have been right here in Brazos County for less than 10 acres of land. 
So the fire departments are doing a really good job of getting a good jump on these fires and they're really dedicated to, to stopping this before it gets out of hand. Um, the, uh, we, as critical as things are in our region right now, um, we currently have one um, airplane tanker which is uh, able to drop uh, water or fire retardant on the fires, one helicopter, two bulldozers, and two Forest Service engines with their crews stationed right here in Brazos County. Uh, of course, they're, they're covering a wide region or a wide area, but we do have those resources close by and we have utilized them in Washington County and Madison County as well. Um, our uh, wildland strike team for Brazos County continues to support other counties in the region with responses to Washington County and Madison County as of uh, last couple of days. Um, so we're, we're helping that, helping you know other counties out, but we're also still able to, to cover our districts for call response here in Brazos County. Um, rain showers, we've been getting them. Um, they're very spotty. Um, with that being said, it be very thankful for the rain that we're getting, but please realize that we are still under critical fire weather. Um, we do have a burn ban still in effect, and uh, we need to adhere to that burn ban. Um, and it doesn't take any time for, for the moisture to, to evaporate and go away after following those rain showers. But please pray for more rain. We need it. And we have a good we have a good chance of rain uh, today and tomorrow as well, um, so hopefully we'll get it. And uh, we'll just continue to monitor things in the region and coordinate resources as as, as needed. Thank you. Yes, uh, ma'am. Appreciate Thank you. the work that you and our volunteer fire departments do, as well as the city fire departments. Uh, uh, Mr. Condola. Good morning to the court and everyone. I'm Chuck Conderla. I'm one of the assistant scoutmasters at Bryan Troop 383 out of St. Joseph Church, actually the oldest Boy Scout troop in the area. Um, brought with me some young men that are fulfilling a requirement, some for communications, some for citizenship in the community. They need to attend a governmental meeting. You notice I brought them here and not to a college station council meeting because we don't, no one has that kind of time. You know what I mean, Nancy? Yeah. So, um, we understand very yeah. well. <clears throat> Amen. But anyway, uh, it's a lot more exciting, though. Yeah. I don't know. You're a pretty exciting guy, Steve. Very, very, emotion, very <clears throat> emotional. But it may not be healthy for the kids. Yeah, yeah. We want them to consider serving one day. We don't so, need them so going not ever. Exactly. So, we're, so, so we're the PG rated version. That's right. Okay. Good. So I have Hudson, <clears throat> Luke, Ryan, my son John, my son Mark, Hunter, and we're, who's back there? Where are you at, Hudson? Oh, sorry. <laughs> so these boys have uh, been on many campouts. They're great young men. It's, it's wonderful to see them go from, from boys to patriotic and God-fearing young men. And, and that's what we try to do in the, in the program. The program's still alive and well. Boy Scouts is still going strong. And uh, with your permission. We'd love to have a picture with you if you'd all come in front of the... <coughs> the day is here. We'll stand up behind yes, you. And seeing thank, those Buffalo thank you trails. all for being part of a terrific <coughs> leadership program. Oh, no, seeing those <laughs> Buffalo <laughs> Trails <laughs> Council uh, Camp uh, patches uh, yeah, brought back uh, some great yeah. memories. Yeah. Chuck, just, Chuck we, move them a little closer. Little closer. Squeeze yeah. In there. yeah, let's move them. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah, we want to get everybody. All right. Thank you. Th thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Commissioners. Thank you. <coughs> Is there anyone else who wants to address the court? Oh, see, seeing none, now we'll go on to item number three, which is approval of the unbound BCS MOU amendment. I move uh, approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in I, favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I do want to just say how important this agreement is, and we um, we thank juvenile probation. Uh, Linda Ricketson is leading us, and 
We are very appreciative to that, Ms. Ricketts. Thank you. We know how our juveniles' lives can be marked for life. Yeah. Okay. Uh, item number four is permission to advertise an auction of surplus property. Do I have a motion? Move, Move approval. Second. I've got. We have a motion and a second. All those, uh, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. Number five is approval requested from the purchasing department to declare a list of surplus property as salvage in accordance with local government code 263.152 and authorized destruction of other means of disposal. Move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> number six, approval of amendment number two to contract 21-009, filters with fastener industrial and construction supplies for additional filters needed. Move approval. Second. You have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Number seven, Approval of amendment number one to contract 22-024 stall shavings and pellets with Queen Horse Bedding of Texas. Commissioner, I oh, I, seven. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you for that. Approval of amendment number two to contract 22-012 or grid trap pumping with GNL Wastewater Services to add an additional tank located at Juvenile Detention Center. Move approval. Second. All those, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Now number eight, approval of amendment number one to contract 22-024 stall shavings and pellets with Queen Horse Bedding of Texas, LLC. For price increase due to manufacturer not being able to supply at contracted prices due to global shortages in material. Move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Number nine is approval of contract 22-156 residential placement for juveniles with Cameron County Juvenile Justice Department. Move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Number 10, approval of contract 22-157, right of passage for the Juvenile Department Residential Services. Move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Number 11, <coughs> approval of renewal contract 23-027R, fuel and with Fikes Wholesale. Move approval. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Number 12, <coughs> request approval from Road and Bridge to amend the current Brazos County Flood Damage Prevention Ordinance. Changes apply to Article 2, definitions in Article 4.C permit procedures. Move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Same sign. O motion carries. Number 13, tax refund applications for the following. I move approval A and B. Second. Second. All those in, f uh, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Number 14 is Commissioner Court Meetings for the following dates, uh, A through L. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? Motion carries. Oh, did we vote? No. 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 Oh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Now the motion carries. Number 15 is budget amendments. Move approval. Uh, FY 21-22 budget amendments 42.1 through 42.15. Second. M move approval. 
We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Number 16, personnel change of status. Move approval, A and B. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Number 17 is payment of claims. Claims to be paid by Brazos County, claim number 8116736 through claim number 8116873, and claims number 9005498 through claim number 9005553. Move, Move approval. approval. Second. All the, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number 18, acknowledgement of the Brazos County Emergency Services District ESD number one auditor's report for fiscal 2021. Number 19 is acknowledgement of FY 21-22 budget to actuals by funds as of August 3rd, 2022. Number 20 is juveniles director's report on population. Good morning, commissioners. We have 36 juveniles in detention, 29 males, seven females, and we have 38 on electronic monitor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sheriff. Good morning, commissioners. Population today is 646, 540 men, 106 women. We have 59 on electronic monitoring, and we have six pending. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. I'm curious about the COVID. Uh, do we have any report on that? No cases today. Great. Oh, great. Great. Thank you. Okay. Uh, going on to item number 22 is announcement of interest items and possible future agenda topics. Irma, did you have something you wanted to say about National Night Out? Uh, yes. We have National Night Out celebrated. Thursday, August the 18th at 2 p.m. here at, um, at the George Bush uh, Library. And I think in every neighborhood there are parties and celebrations. Um, and we'd encourage you to take uh, part in it. It's a good way to learn who your neighbors are. Thank you. Any other announcements? Okay. Number 22 is call for citizens input and or concerns. Okay, since our next item is to adjourn. Thank you. Uh, commissioners, if you'd stay.